Hello, entrepreneurs. Joe DeChara coming to you live from downtown Flushing, New York, for a special episode of How to Win at Business. And today, folks, I'm, we are going to talk about uh, did your accountant tell you? Did your accountant tell you that LLCs come with no tax benefits at all? And if you're watching live, give me a hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. And if you're not watching, uh, don't give me a hashtag. If you want to connect with me, go to timewithjoe.com. I love talking about business. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur just like you. And, and I hate seeing uh, small business owners struggle and suffer because they don't have the tools and the resources to do their own accounting work. That's what we do. That's what we do at Bedrock Business Builder. So uh, connect with me, and, and maybe we could help each other. And I just got off the phone with, with a prospect that told me she's an LLC. She's an LLC, you know, because I, I want to see her tax return. She wants us to help her get a grant, and she wants us to help her get financing and grow her business. So... One of the first questions I ask is, well, how, how are you organized? And there's really only two ways to be organized, folks. You're either a sole proprietor or you're a corporation. Because LLCs don't come with any tax benefits. In fact, the IRS doesn't even recognize an LLC. There's, there's no tax form for an LLC. All an LLC does is gives you legal protection. That's not how you want to run your business. Not if it's an operating entity. LLCs have a place, but not for a small business uh, trying, to, trying to make it because it's actually costing you money. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. When you first start a business, you're considered a sole proprietor. This is the worst way to do business. They, they'll tell you it's the simplest, and, that, and that's the truth. But if you just net 20 grand, you're going to pay $3,000 in self employment tax. If you net 20 grand as a corporation, as an S Corp, you don't pay any self employment taxes. And, and that that's the gray area, you know, that's the, the battle that's been going on for for since I've been in business, since I started doing accounting, because it being an S Corp is just a no brainer for, for CPAs, for most CPAs, at, at least. Now it turns out that there's CPAs out there that, that think it's OK to be an LLC and not elect to be an S Corp. So what happens, I'm going to give you the brief uh, rundown, is when you're an LLC and you don't make any election, a single member, you are considered a sole proprietor. You get overtaxed, over-audited, you get no respect, and when you want to go for things like financing, you don't. the bank looks at you as you're, you're, you're going for a personal loan. Now, an S Corp doesn't pay any FICA tax. The, the profits, the distributions, the dividend distributions are not subject to FICA tax. S Corps are hardly ever audited, especially S Corps that make, you know, less than 100 or 200 grand a year in gross revenue. And it's just a, a better way to do business. Yeah, it's more complicated. If if you you have to hire somebody like us for startup businesses, we charge about sixteen hundred dollars a year to do all your bookkeeping, make sure you're in compliance, and 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 file your tax returns. That that includes your corporate and personal returns. I don't know who else could give you a deal like that. So that's my story. I'm sticking with it. Uh, we're keeping these short and sweet now. So like I said, if, if you want to chat with me, just go to Time with Joe. And I look forward to connecting with you. And I will see you again shortly. Thank you.